The universe is an extraordinary place, filled with mysteries that constantly challenge our understanding. One of the most profound questions we ask is, are we alone? This question has driven decades of research and led to groundbreaking tools like the Drake Equation, which estimates the number of extraterrestrial civilizations in our galaxy. But as science evolves, so too must our methods. A recent study by astrophysicists at Durham University has introduced a new perspective, connecting the universe's expansion, star formation, and the probability of life. This research not only reshapes our understanding of the Drake Equation, but also opens exciting new avenues in the search for extraterrestrial intelligence. So without further ado, let's get started. The universe is expanding, and the driving force behind this acceleration is dark energy. This mysterious force constitutes about 68% of the universe's total energy content, dwarfing the matter and radiation we can observe. Imagine the universe as a balloon being inflated. As it expands, galaxies move farther apart, and the structure of the universe changes. This concept becomes even more fascinating when connected to life's emergence. A recent study, led by Daniele Sorini, a postdoctoral research associate at Durham University's Institute for Computational Cosmology, delves deeply into this connection. Funded by a European Research Council grant, Sereni and her colleagues, including John Peacock from the University of Edinburgh and Lucas Lombriser from the Université de Genève, examined how the universe's acceleration shapes star formation. Published in the monthly notices of the Royal Astronomical Society, their work sheds light on the intricate relationship between dark energy and the conditions necessary for life. Dark energy directly impacts star formation. Stars are born when matter clumps together under gravity, creating the intense conditions necessary for nuclear fusion. If the universe expands too quickly, matter disperses and fewer stars form. Conversely, slower expansion allows more matter to clump, potentially increasing star formation. This delicate balance plays a crucial role in determining the availability of stars and, by extension, the conditions for life. Their findings were intriguing. The optimal density for star formation would be around 27%, slightly higher than the 23% observed in our universe. This suggests that while our universe is capable of supporting life, it might not be the most efficient for star formation compared to potential universes in a multiverse scenario. Why is this important? Stars are the factories of the universe, creating heavier elements necessary for life such as carbon, oxygen, and nitrogen. Without a sufficient rate of star formation, these elements wouldn't exist in abundance, making life as we know it impossible. This research highlights how dark energy is not just an abstract concept, but a key player in shaping the conditions for life. The Drake Equation, originally formulated as a framework for understanding the factors that influence the search for life, is written as, N equals R star times AP times N E times F L times F I times F C times L. Here's what these terms represent. N is the number of civilizations in our galaxy with which humans might communicate. R star is the average rate of star formation in the galaxy. FP is the fraction of those stars that have planets. NE is the average number of planets per star that could support life. FEL is the fraction of planets where life actually develops. FEI is the fraction of those planets where intelligent life emerges. FC is the fraction of civilizations that develop detectable communication technologies. L is the length of time such civilizations release detectable signals. This recent study does not aim to revise the equation entirely, but introduces a complementary model focusing on cosmic star formation history. The team measured the impact of cosmological parameters within the Lambda Cold Dark Matter Framework, which describes the universe as consisting of approximately 68% dark energy, 27% dark matter, and 5% ordinary matter, baryonic matter. 
Their analysis reveals how varying dark energy densities affect the conversion of ordinary matter into stars. Stars, through nuclear fusion, produce the heavier elements essential for planets and biochemistry. The study suggests that the optimal density of dark energy for star formation is higher than the observed value in our universe, indicating that while our universe supports life, it may be an outlier in a multiverse context. These findings provide a broader perspective on the Drake equation, hinting at potential updates to incorporate new parameters such as lambda energy density and a multiverse factor. By refining the equation to include these cosmological variables, scientists can better estimate the conditions under which life might emerge across different universes. This research has profound implications for the search for extraterrestrial life. First, it redefines our understanding of the fine-tuning argument, the idea that our universe's physical constants are uniquely suited for life. The findings suggest that life could emerge in universes with significantly different properties, making our universe less special than traditionally assumed. This ties into the multiverse theory, which posits the existence of multiple universes, each with its own physical constants. If other universes with higher or lower dark energy densities could support life, it broadens the scope of where we might find extraterrestrial civilizations. It also challenges us to rethink what life might look like in these alternate realities. Could intelligent life evolve under drastically different conditions? The possibilities are both exciting and humbling. The study also emphasizes the role of star formation rates in the evolution of intelligent life. In our universe, the balance between cosmic expansion and matter clustering has allowed stars and planets to remain stable for billions of years, a crucial time frame for life to evolve. In universes with different dynamics, the timeline for intelligent life could vary significantly or life might not emerge at all. Finally, these findings could refine our search strategies. By identifying epochs or regions in the universe where star formation was particularly prolific, we can better target our efforts to find extraterrestrial life. This could involve focusing on galaxies with optimal conditions for star and planet formation, or using advanced telescopes to study the atmospheres of exoplanets in those regions. Thank you for joining this exploration into the science of life and the cosmos. Keep looking up, stay curious, and until next time, remember that the universe is vast and its possibilities are endless.